Hey, Epic. Fortnite literally makes no sense. Now, obviously, Naruto hitting the gritty on Darth Vader is ridiculous, but have any of you actually stopped to think about some of the basic things in this game that make absolutely no sense? Because today, I'm truly becoming a Fortnite nerd, and I'm going to break down 40 things that make zero sense in Fortnite. For example, at number one, have you ever thought about how much weight you're actually carrying in Fortnite? The average Fortnite character is 100 times stronger than the strongest person on Earth. Now, I could break down the weight of all the different weapons and items and ammo you can carry in Fortnite, but how about we just start with the gold bars? In real life, a gold bar weighs 27 pounds, and walking around with 5,000 of them would be equivalent to carrying 137,000 pounds, and that's not even counting guns and ammo. So not only are Fortnite characters superhuman, they're also superhuman athletes, because the highest jumpers in the NBA, think LeBron James or Michael Jordan, jump about 48 inches off the ground which is four feet but assuming fortnite characters are around six feet tall if you are fully sprinting and jumping you are jumping over eight feet literally twice as much as lebron james off the ground but what about the battle bus we've been jumping out of it all the way back since season one but can a hot air balloon actually carry a battle bus of 100 people you see the average hot air balloon could hold about a thousand pounds and when you add the weight of the battle bus and all the players on it the balloon would have to be 40 times bigger than it is right now to actually support that weight and now we need to talk about the zip lines they were added all the way back in chapter one season seven but how do they actually work you might have noticed that we're being carried by a giant magnet, but does that mean all Fortnite characters are made out of metal? Obviously, everyone's body has some metal in it, but if the magnet was that strong, your guns would literally fly off of your character and hit the magnet above your head. Something in the Fortnite skins is attracting to the magnet, and I know I'm definitely attracted to Ch So number five, number five, guys. What about hearing loss in Fortnite? Anything over 70 decibels for a long period of time can damage your hearing. But what about gunshots and RPGs and explosions? Because these Fortnite characters are literally in war all day, every day, and their hearing seems to be fine. Guns fire at 150 decibels, and that's why a lot of people wear ear protection when they're using guns, but Fortnite characters don't. As you guys know, in Chapter 2, Epic added a unique feature that makes you not take fall damage when you fall into one of those huge bushes. But would that actually work in real life? There have been stories of people falling from over a thousand feet and somehow surviving by landing in multiple trees and bushes, but not just one singular bush. So obviously that doesn't make any sense. Now we need to talk about sliding in Fortnite. It's one of the newer mechanics and a lot of people love sliding, but have you actually thought about what it would mean to slide like that across rock and dirt and grass? Sliding down an entire mountain would surely give you some third degree burns and a bunch of damage to your legs. And now for number eight, here's one that you probably really haven't thought about. We all know about the storm in Fortnite and actually when you're in the storm, there is rain that is falling down. But how come when you walk into a building, you can still see the rain? It just makes no sense because no matter what room you're in or even where you are, you could be underground in a cave. You can still see the rain from the storm. And for number nine, something that really doesn't make sense is the shotguns, especially considering weapon attachments. So the striker is just a version of the tack that has none of the attachments. But for some reason, it just does more damage. But this season, we also noticed that the pump shotgun is very similar to the Maven, but the Maven's absolutely garbage. So what kind of attachments are we adding to make the pump so bad? This one makes absolutely no sense, no matter how you spin it. How come when your vehicle is damaged, you can pull up next to a campfire, and if the car is close enough, it will start repairing itself and healing. In real life, that shit will explode. Now for number 11, one of the most unrealistic things in this video is the Fortnite gas prices. That's right, ever since the gas stations got added for multiple years, the gas price has been $2.39. Never going up, never going down. Now for number 12, a more recent item, the Rocket Ram. It's the newest item this season and it's extremely fun, but have you guys noticed how extremely dangerous this would be in real life? Now it is a small rocket, but even a rocket at that size taken off, the exhaust would be over 6,000 degrees and you would literally get incinerated for being close to it. 
And now for number 13, raw meat. We need to talk about how we haven't died from food poisoning yet in Fortnite. Because in Fortnite, we're eating chickens that we just slaughtered, dead meat that's left on the ground, and pretty much any fish that we pull out of the water instantly. We don't cook it. We don't season it. We just eat it. Now, it's okay to eat raw or rare meat in real life, but it has to be prepared and it has to be clean and sanitized in a special way. Because if you're just eating dead meat off the ground like we do in Fortnite, you might contract Ligma and die. All right, for number 14, another one that makes no sense. And it seems like vehicles are a common theme here. We talked about the gas prices, but what about how we fill gas in our cars? Because in Fortnite, instead of putting the gas in the car, you're literally just spraying it all over the car. And if you see someone doing this at a gas station, you need to run because there's nothing good that can happen after that. And for number 15, we're going to talk about the chests. Chests are the main source of how we get loot in Fortnite, but that doesn't really explain how we can get ammos and guns that are double the size of the chest. Sometimes rocket launchers and rocket rams come out of the chest, and there's just no way you could fit that into the chest. But now for number 16. Now, obviously, there's a lot of guns in Fortnite that make no sense, and some of them are some crazy and weird ones. But have we realized that all Fortnite characters are military experts? Things like assault rifles and shotguns take some military training, and some other weapons like snipers take even more time to perfect. But in Fortnite, all the characters are experts in every single weapon. And not just the normal weapons, the alien lasers and the magical swords, we pick them up for the first time and know exactly how to use them. Now, Fortnite prides itself in its realism, especially lately with its lighting and water physics, but here's something that you probably haven't thought of. How come when you get wet in Fortnite, you instantly dry up as soon as you leave the water? In real life, it takes you like a couple of hours to air dry after being completely soaking wet. But in Fortnite, you jump in the water, jump out, and you're completely dry. And even the bullets don't make any sense. Wall banging is a mechanic in every single game, but why not Fortnite? All bullets, including the very powerful sniper bullets, cannot pass through any layer and do damage on the other side. But honestly, it's probably a good thing because spamming would be a lot worse. Now for number 19, a moment when Fortnite thought it was being realistic, but actually shot itself in the foot. Now, obviously you can drown in Fortnite. If you stay under the water and you don't have any oxygen, you eventually drown. But how come some skins like Fish Stick and Aquaman drown when they're underwater? Can't they breathe underwater? But what about the pre-game lobby? Because it's literally in space and obviously in space, there's no oxygen. So how are we walking around and breathing? And we need to talk about throwing objects in Fortnite. Now, obviously we can throw things extremely far and maybe some of you out there have a strong arm, but what about being able to throw glass shield potions, but they don't break? I guess Fortnite just has unbreakable glass. And speaking of shields, number 22, we need to talk about drinking shields. So you can start drinking a big pot and get 99% of the way done and then stop at the last second and you won't get any of the heals. First of all, we know Fortnite has been thinking about changing that for a while, but that just doesn't make any sense. And now at number 23, we talked about the battle bus balloon, but now we need to talk about the balloon item. And guys, we did the math. It would take a lot more than three balloons to lift a full grown person. Now, let's say the average Fortnite character weighs 158 pounds. It would take 5,267 balloons to fully lift a character off the ground. Now, here's another small one that a lot of people probably don't know about. With the original rocket launcher, you could be out of ammo and have no rocket available, but you could still visibly see the rocket in the rocket launcher. Why can't we shoot that one? And we know the characters know how to use every single gun, but have you ever thought about emoting in Fortnite? Now, if you're a great dancer, you could probably mimic a dance after seeing it done a few times, but all the Fortnite characters can masterfully do any single dance. They can even do magic, ride a unicycle, and do all sorts of things, regardless of who they are. Naruto, Darth Vader, they're hitting the gritty flawlessly every single time. Have you guys seen me or Nick A30 try to hit the gritty? It's impossible. Now for number 26, have you realized that the launch pad is actually just a trampoline? Now with a real trampoline, how high you jump up is usually dependent on how high you jump from. But in Fortnite, no matter where you jump from, the launch pad will send you the same height. 
Now, obviously, if these Fortnite characters are carrying thousands of pounds of gold, they can probably eat thousands upon thousands of calories. Now, for example, have you realized that the Chug Jug is about three gallons of water when you drink it? You end up drinking the entire thing in just 15 seconds. And if you tried to do that in real life, you would literally die of water intoxication. And at number 28, we need to talk about the crabs in Fortnite. Some of you might not know because you might be playing on performance mode, but the crabs actually disappear on performance mode. They're the only wildlife in Fortnite that are not visible if your graphics isn't high enough. And honestly, I didn't even know these things were in the game. Now, rocket riding is one of the most beloved things in Fortnite, but obviously this is not realistic at all. Rockets fly at over 200 miles per hour, so you could not keep your footing on that thing. And even if you're strapped in, your body would be flailing around and you'd pretty much be getting dragged through the air with the rocket. Now for number 30, we got to talk about fingers. And I'm not talking about my curved finger because some characters in Fortnite don't have visible fingers like the unicorn or Adonis Creed using his boxing gloves. But somehow they can still use and operate all the guns and vehicles without having any fingers. And how about the disrespect to fireflies? Because how come in Fortnite, fireflies can be used as a Molotov to cause fires? Fireflies cannot cause fires regardless of their name. The glow is actually just a chemical reaction that happens in their body. Now for number 32, we need to talk about the silos. At all the farms, including frenzy fields, you can find silos and break them and there is nothing in them. But in real life farms, silos can carry thousands of pounds of food and this is how farmers store and transport their food. Does this mean there is a food shortage in Fortnite? It might be because Courage JD ate all the food in Fortnite. And we need to talk about the road signs in Fortnite because most of the signs in Fortnite are on the right side of the road, which is pretty typical. But for Mega City, if you look closely, all the road signs are actually on the left side of the road. But this one actually makes sense because in Tokyo, which is what Mega City is based off of, they do drive on the opposite side. Now for number 34, we need to talk about the equipment on skins. That's right, some skins like Tiantina or Raptor have grenades on their hips and other skins like Lara Croft and Lieutenant John Llama have literal guns and ammo, but you can never use them. And I guess if you could, they'd be pay to win. And now we need to take it back to chapter one, season eight and talk about geysers. Geysers were a great addition to mobility. You could use them to fly around the map, but there's only one problem. If you actually tried to use a geyser in real life, those things are over 212 degrees. So you would literally burn yourself alive. Now we already talked about the battle bus, but how many people can actually fit in this thing? Supposedly 100, but as you can see here, there are 12 window seats on each side, which is 24 rows. We know from this video that two people can fit in each row. And now adding the bus driver and including people standing in the aisle, it comes out to only 61 people. So how the hell are we fitting 100 people in there? The sedans in Fortnite actually have the opposite problem because you can only fit four people in the car, two in the front, two in the back, but there are clearly three seats in the back. And trust me, me and my family, we have managed to fit six or seven people back there. In chapter four, we have a lot of different biomes, including the ice biome, and it looks pretty cold there. But tell me why in freezing temperatures, all the houses have windows that are completely open. What's the point of installing windows if we're not gonna keep the cold out? Literally everyone in that house would be freezing to death, but magically everything inside is not frozen over, which makes even less sense. And for number 39, we need to talk about the damage in Fortnite. Like explain how an SMG bullet is less effective than getting hit by a balloon pickaxe. Now, luckily there is no police in Fortnite because they would have a serious problem with number 40. All the cars in Fortnite have the same license plate. Depending on the car type, sports cars have this license plate, sedans have this one, and there's only a couple other variations. This would be completely illegal. So guys, those are the 40 things that don't make sense in Fortnite. Let me know if there's any I forgot and if I should make a new list with things that make no sense.